Good y'all, GQ, those people entertainment before I say anything. Buckle up, safety first, it can save your life. Uh I really want to talk to y'all about something real fast. I just need to get out of this parking lot. So give me just one second. Get myself situated. Let's go, let's go. Nobody's behind me. That is awesome. The sun is no joke. Uh, whoa. Let's get away from that glare. Man, that glare is serious. Block that. There we go. That looks much better. GQ, those people entertainment was happening. I'm going to try to speak to you guys while keeping my attention to the road as I drive. I am not trying to get into a car accident while giving you guys some motivational words of wisdom. All right. So I'm sure all of us as human beings, come on. Come on, you can do it. I guess you can. I know all of us as human beings, we all have goals. We all have dreams. We all have, we all have aspirations that we would like to see come to fruition. So I titled this, you know what, I'm just going to title it now. Um, one goal five outcomes one goal all right so i'm going to title this video one goal five outcomes out of the five outcomes i would hope that you would achieve three of them two of them you don't want to be a part of let me let me explain Scenario number one, you make a goal and everything goes perfect according to plan. You get everything you want exactly when you want it. End of the story. Happy ending. Hooray for everybody. Now, 90% of the time, this isn't really possible. Very rarely do, does very rarely does somebody sit, think of a goal, think of a plan. Well, not so much of a plan, but they have an end vision in mind, and everything goes perfectly leading up to that particular vision. So, scenario number one: you make a goal. You achieve the goal exactly when you want to achieve the goal. You get everything you want when you want it. Now, scenario number two. Things don't go as planned due to unforeseen circumstances, whether it be, uh, whether it be financially, whether it be health-wise, whether it be... Um, a family situation, a relationship, whatever the case may be, something happens, or I guess a series of things happen where it just messes up your plans and it slows you down. Um, however, regardless of all the obstacles that were thrown in your path and despite being delayed a bit, you still reach your goal even though it wasn't exactly when you wanted it to come to fruition. So scenario one, 
you make a goal, you achieve the goal exactly when you wanted the goal. Scenario two is when you make a you make a goal, things don't work out all like along the way, and you get slowed down, you get deterred sometimes, but you still end up reaching your destination, um, even though it happens a little later than expected or desired. Okay. So those are the first two scenarios. Third scenario is probably the most likely for a lot of people. Um, I would say even more than the second scenario. Because the second scenario is attainable as well. Because there's no possible way that you're going to go through life and nothing bad ever happens to you. Stuff happens. You just got to have a plan of attack on how to conquer those, you know, little scenarios and circumstances that slow you down. It's like a video game. You're playing a video game, stuff happens, your character dies, you respawn, you try it again, you find out a different plot of attack. So, third scenario is when things don't go as planned, however, you take a different path that ends up working out better than what you originally wanted and it inspires you to aim for a different goal than you originally wanted and you become successful. There have been many times where um, you had this whole thing mapped out in your head. I'm going to do this. But then stuff happens and you later discover that maybe there's something else that I want more than what I originally thought I wanted. Um, or something that you just, you discover that you're more passionate about. Sometimes you, you don't know yourself until you experience life a little bit. Um, I could tell you ever since I was in elementary school, I've always wanted to be an actor. Not so much for the stage, um, even though I did a couple of stage plays here and there. Um, but I've always wanted to entertain people and act on the screen. Um, I've always pictured myself being in short films, TV shows, commercials, movies, whatever. And I still picture that. Um, but somehow, somewhere along the way, I think it was around middle school. Yeah, I think it was around middle school. I discovered that, well, before, before I get into that, I was writing poetry in my language arts class. And then I started, I started taking those, those little poems that I wrote and turned them into little raps. So I discovered I could rap. I discovered I was pretty decent at it. Years later, I have two moderately successful albums on all platforms. Still working on a third. And that's where the whole obstacle thing comes into play because I had in my mind pictured that this third album that I've been working on was supposed to come out years ago, but circumstances took place. Things have been slowed me down a little bit. Life happens. Wow, that glare is so serious. Okay, that's better. Um, so life happens. Stuff slowed me down. Still not going to stop me from getting this album done. So just be on the lookout for that. I'm still working on it. So two moderately successful albums, one album on the way, three mixtapes uh, currently in circulation on SoundCloud and Reverb Nation. Uh, I'll leave a link. Well, I'll leave a couple of links for those projects in the description below. I didn't know. I Nothing, nothing in me told me that I was ever going to do music. Nothing ever told me that I was ever going to rap and 
create music videos and stuff like that. And I never thought that I'd be making music that people actually enjoy. Um, so that's kind of an example of, you know, you're going, you're going down one path and then you become passionate for something else. I, I feel like the best way to know that you're passionate about something is when, when you're doing it, it doesn't feel like work and you sometimes find yourself getting lost in it. Like you, you lose track of time when you're doing it to the point where you look at your watch and you're like, oh, dang, it's such and such time already? Um, and that's how I feel when I'm recording and editing music, when I'm making beats. Um, it was a newfound love. However, in my case, my eyes never were taken away from acting entertaining people on screen and I think that's what led me to want to learn how to edit my own my own videos and direct my own videos because I figured if I was an actor on the rise and I wanted to be in movies or TV shows but nobody casts me how am I going to be seen oh I have an idea I'm going to Act on my own stuff, create my own lane, and get people's attention that way. So that's kind of what I'm doing right now. Um, I think I'm swaying off subject, but third scenario is when things don't go as planned. Stuff happens in which you discover a new passion, and whatever your goal was, you change it, and that ends up working way better than what you originally wanted and you're happy um, now scenario four this is one of the things that I don't want for you or anyone is when things don't work out and so you fall back into this mode of let me find the easiest thing possible to get me by and completely just abandon greatness I'm done chasing X, Y, Z. I'm just going to look for something that's easy and realistic. Now, I want you to... This is something that I really hate. When you have a goal and you want to do something, and somebody tells you, oh, please, be realistic. It drives me up the wall. It gets me so upset. I'll say, hey, I want to, I had this plan, I had this dream that I want to do this. And they go, yeah, 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 okay, but realistically, you know, what, what do you want to do? It gets me so mad because it's like, you mean to tell me that being realistic only means negative? Thinking realistic only means that you have to be unhappy? I don't like that. I don't like that thought process. I've never believed it. Um, so yeah, I don't want number four for you guys. Number four, once again, for those of you that are listening and trying to keep track. Number four is the scenario where you try to go, aim for your goal, and things don't work out, but you give up. And you just go, you know what, let me just settle for this because it's realistic and it'll get me by in life. But at the end of the day, you're miserable. You're not happy. You're, you're, you're skating. You're making it. You're getting by. But because you're not passionate about what you're realistically doing, you end up being miserable and then you get older and older and then you look back and you start resenting your decisions because you're always saying, dang, what if? What if I did this? What if I did that? This glare, bro. So, um, I really don't want y'all, I really don't want you guys to fall into that category. And then, of course, I 
category or not category, but uh, number one, the scenario that I never want anybody to fall into is to give up on everything and do nothing and be stagnant, just be stuck, not moving forward. Um, going back to the second scenario, a lot of people feel like, and for those of you that are trying to remember what the second scenario was, the second scenario was when you're, you're shooting for a goal and stuff slows you down and it delays your gratification. However, you do get there no matter how late. And my advice for people in the middle of that scenario, in the middle of experiencing these little situations that are slowing you down is do not stop. Um, pray on it. Ask for guidance. Figure out what the best course of action is and what direction you need to go in. Um, but don't just give up because things are slowing you down from getting to where you want to be at the time you want to get there. I, I'm a strong believer in you will get whatever is meant for you when you're supposed to get it. Maybe you're not ready to get it at that time, but maybe God is trying to shape things in a way in which you get what you're, what you're supposed to get when you're supposed to get it. I'll give you a perfect example. Um, Samuel L. Jackson, one of the most famous actors in Hollywood, he was he was 40 years old when he got his first movie role. Well, he, not 40, but like 42, something like that. He was in his early 40s when he got his first movie role. I think it was Pulp Fiction, if I'm not mistaken. Um, now he's in like almost everything. But it goes to show you, man, he wanted to be an actor. Didn't get his first movie role until 42. Now he is 69 years old. So don't sit there and tell me that because things aren't happening exactly when you want them to happen, I'm sweating. Just in case you're wondering why I'm wiping my face so much, I'm sweating a lot. However, I'm not turning on the AC right away until I'm done with this video because the AC is really loud and it'll interrupt this recording. And y'all are gonna get really annoyed by the AC noise. Um, and you won't be able to hear what I'm saying. And I think it's very important that I give you this message right now. Because I think uh, it'll, it's gonna help somebody. Um, but like I said, listen. These are five scenarios when it comes to creating a goal. I would hope that you hit at least one of the first three, but try your best to stay away from the last two. Um, closing this video out, it's gonna review real quick. Scenario one, you have a goal, everything goes as planned, and you reach your goal when you wanna reach it. Number two, you have a goal, but stuff slows you down, stuff gets in the way, life happens, and you reach your goal, but you reach your goal later than expected, or anticipated, or desired, but you still reach it. Scenario number three, you set a goal, circumstances take place that shift your focus to something else, and now you recalibrate yourself into having another goal that ends up being better than what you originally wanted in the first place. And then you reach your goal. Those are three scenarios in which I would love for you guys to reach your goals. Um, I just don't want you guys to just give up. And also, and this, this, the, the truth hurts when I say this, but sometimes the people that hurt you the most when it comes to motivation is very close family members. It could be your mom, it could be your dad, it could be your grandmother, grandfather, 
uh, aunt, uncle, sister, cousin, somebody close to you, um, discouraging you from going full force towards your goals. I'm sure you all have that one family member that when you share your goals and your dreams with them, they look at you and go, please be realistic. Those are the people you do not want to listen to. Because now you're being forced into a position in which you feel like you have to settle because that's all you're able to realistically do. Realistically doesn't have to mean miserable for the rest of your life. If somebody's telling you to be realistic because then you're not going to be able to reach your goal or you're not likely to reach your goal, shut them out. I don't know why you're staring at me. Probably think I'm talking to myself. Anyway, um, no, seriously, please. When it comes to your goals, when it comes to your vision, you need to have tunnel vision and block out anything that may slow you down from it. <clears throat> it's cliche, yes I know. You hear it all the time, never give up, never give up, never give up on your dreams. But, like, that's real talk, like, for real, for real, do not give up on your dreams and don't let anybody discourage you from believing that you can reach your goal. Um, this is GQ's Drive. I hope what I said here helps someone. This is uh, episode one of many drives. And uh, yeah, man. GQ, those people entertainment, sounding off.